It appears that West Virginia is about to pour millions more dollars into its battered and beat up roads. The issue became a big shift in priorities as the annual legislative session came to a close this past weekend. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. If you ask any West Virginian about the state's worst problem, many will cite bad roads. Now, Governor Justice wants to join with the legislature in fixing bad roads. It could get very expensive, though, but the governor is pinpointing three sources. The state's road bond funds, money from the state general road account, and more dollars from this year's projected budget surplus. But the governor warns not every road will get fixed. Let's just be fair. But... We are now shifting real live dollars and real live focus and real live manpower into doing something. While many Democrats agree on the need, some wonder about the money. So hopefully the reality comes that we actually get some work done on our secondary roads and the governor gets his math worked out that we have some money to put in those positions. There are bad roads in every county, but one Preston County lawmaker says that led to a recent fatal accident in her community. Very critical and we're trying to get on top of things so we never experience that again. Even with a focus now on secondary roads, the governor still says big projects like the I-70 bridge rebuilds in the northern panhandle will happen. We're going to find a way to do the projects that people in the northern panhandle, rightfully so, are concerned about those bridges, and I am too. For crying out loud, we've got to fix those bridges and everything. The governor says many secondary road projects can start with the annual spring maintenance program. The governor believes all this new road work could create hundreds of new jobs. The problem is the state is already having trouble filling all the job openings it currently has in the Department of Highways. At the state capitol in Charleston, I'm Moore Curtis, 13 News, working for you. Governor Justice also commented on former Secretary of Transportation Tom Smith, whom he fired early this week. The governor says that he respects Smith but that the two men had differences in the direction of the Division of Highways.